Welcome back, everyone. On the county seat today, we're talking about the Agriculture Sustainability Task Force report that just came out a few days ago, and it's something we should all be concerned about because it involves the food we eat and the cost of the food we eat. Uh, a couple of your recommendations in here may be a little controversial. You recommended that we uh, not change HB 116, which was the immigration bill that provided for guest worker status coming into the county. And you've stated that uh, you do need these guest workers uh, to be able to pick the crops. Uh, or do you think you're going to have a hard time convincing others that this is necessary in Utah? Well, um, <clears throat> it's a tough issue. Yeah. And if the federal government were really all over this, we wouldn't have this discussion. But the problem is, is that they're not. They're AWOL. And so what do the states do? As we talk to producer after producer, people who have advertised, who have asked, uh, who have put in the newspaper their, their prevailing wage, their benefits, and invited uh, Americans to come take these jobs, they cannot find the producers. Uh, or the uh, labor in Alabama, didn't it? Exactly. It we saw that in Georgia and Alabama. It was just a tragedy. Moreover, uh, we have had some programs where we've been able to bring people in from Mexico, et cetera, et cetera. Those programs really are in tatters. So the agricultural community is saying we've got to have labor to make uh, to make a profit and keep food security. So uh, at least for now, we're saying let's hold still until we figure this out. I loved uh, Representative Wright when he carried that bill last year. They asked him in committee, Representative, if, if, if we don't pass this bill, will I still have milk? And he thought for a minute and he says, well, I will, but I'm not sure you will. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the crux that, of the problem, that is, isn't it? That says it all. Getting those crops picked. Uh, the recommendations all are suggestions. It doesn't have force of law behind them. No. Uh, some of them involve taking tax monies and using it to purchase easements on property, agricultural land, in order to keep them viable. Yeah. And that goes down to the county level. Uh, do you think most counties in Utah will accept this and, and go through these easements and purchase that agricultural land? I don't know a specific inventory of those that would opt to do it or not. Uh, certainly there will be some who would seriously look at this. Uh, it provides an option to do something that we give lip service to in terms of saying that agricultural land is important and needs to be sustained. We need to be able to help people remain in that uh, industry, as it were, rather than converting everything to uh, development. Uh, we need to find some solutions to it. This is one approach to it, and there are probably many. I don't think there's just one way that will get us to the solution of preserving the land that we need to. You need to find people that are willing to participate in it. This is, a, this is an approach that would give uh, a means by which uh, lands could be acquired, the development rights on lands could be uh, acquired. They could still have the underlying land and continue to farm it, but as far as development, that, would, uh, yeah. that opportunity would be uh, purchased out by And a, keep that land agriculture from 30 years to in perpetuity. Correct. Uh, another issue here that many Utahns are concerned about, they may have heard of the move to uh, uh, try to get the USDA out of agricultural and food inspection in Utah for foods grown in Utah and consumed in Utah. How do you let the general public know that their foods will be safe if the federal government isn't inspecting them at the level they have before. Well, I think one thing that's interesting is that actually the amount of the food that's inspected actually by the federal government is very limited. It's only about 5%. Most of the rest of the food is actually inspe inspected currently by states. By your department? By our department generally. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we do is uh, a state goes out there and, and it's well received when the state comes in to assure food safety. Our record's great. We have the safest food in the world. Yeah, we have problems once in a while. And when those problems come up, they need to be addressed, and they are. And even when the federal government comes out, what the state ag community and the state uh, food community would like, they'd like the Department of Agriculture at least come with or come out and do it. Because they don't, it's like having the IRS show up at your door. It puts the fear into you. But when a state agency comes out, they know we're coming out with the right attitude. We don't come out with a heavy hammer, and we get the issues resolved secure the safety of the food, 
and they feel good about it. And that's what people are concerned about. We'll sum it up in just a second with maybe the most important recommendations. We'll be back in just a moment. In order for there to be adventure, there must first be a land that offers it. In order for there to be discovery, there must first be something undiscovered. It's time you discovered Northeastern Utah's dinosaur lands, the trails, water, beauty, and history that have been 65 million years in the making. Take your journey to a destination where adventure is only limited by your imagination. Join us in Uinta County, Undiscovered Utah. Imagine a place where the world's largest concentration of scenic attractions can be found. Where radiant cliffs of two national parks and three state parks tower to kiss the azure sky. Come and visit any one of the many memorable sites and events at Bryce Canyon Country. Garfield County, Utah has the offer. Drive along National Scenic Byway 143 and All-American Road Highway 12 and experience the ultimate adventure. Native Americans called it the land of the sleeping rainbow. It's a place of unparalleled enchantment, where history, splendor, and industry meet. We call it Sevier County. Experience the Paiute Trail by ATV. Explore seven national parks, all within a few hours' drive. Gaze down at the world from an entirely new perspective. Join us in Sevier County and discover real Utah. Come, explore the Paiute Trail and beyond. The State of Utah School and Institutional Trust Lands Administration. CITLA manages 3.5 million acres of Utah lands with the express purpose of furthering the education of Utah students while promoting local industry, oil and gas, even residential development, all at the same time. Through the careful use of trust lands, we distributed more than $22 million to Utah schools last year. The State of Utah School and Institutional Trust Lands Administration, building the state's permanent school fund.